Hello. Okay. Rose Zeng, 71. And then also she is one over par for the championship. So um, kind of an even keel day, three birdies, two bogeys. Can you tell us from your perspective about the round? Certainly. Um, I felt like the first two holes I started off very strong, uh, but, you know, I faltered a little bit, had two bogeys um, in the back nine where I started, uh, and that kind of rifted my round a little bit, but I was able to um, hold a really, really good putt on 17, and that kind of shifted my momentum into the back nine um, where I turned over to the front and uh, felt very solid with my game in general. Um, I knew that I had some errors yesterday that I wanted to prevent. So today I tried to work on those things and uh, figure out how to play the course better. Did the course play differently than it did in the first round? Just a little bit. Um, I was a very late tea time yesterday. Uh, this morning, uh, you know, from the start, it was a little colder. Uh, but on top of that, the wind was picking up. Uh, and I felt like this wind was uh, a sort of wind that I was used to when I played back in uh, the Carmel Cup of last year. So um, it felt a little more familiar to me. And I was just trying to get the ball in the fairway and on the greens. Um, but I really had to uh, grind it out um, since I wasn't exactly um, in the best approach uh, when it came to greens and regulation. Uh, eight strokes behind now, but certainly it's a it's something you can make up. What what might be your strategy as you play tomorrow? Yeah, I'm really grateful that I was able to make the cut, and I'll be able to kind of steady myself and go into the weekend with a fresh mind. Um, I've been in this position before where you have to chase, and um, it's nothing new to me. So I'll just be trying to do the same thing. Uh, you know, get my game plan and try to hit as many fairways and greens because that will just allow you to gain more birdie opportunities. Um, and that's all I can do. Yeah. Open up to questions. Rose, yesterday on number eight, you had a little difficulty um, there. What's the key to bouncing back after you make a big number? Certainly. Um, well, it was, it just came really suddenly. Um, I felt like I was doing really well. I was two under and um, just you know, making that double, um, it definitely changed the momentum uh, of my round. But uh, all you can think about is the next tee shot and the next um, approach shot that you hit. And uh, for me, that's all I can think about. Um, so that's how I try to minimize, um, you know, the, I guess, the momentum um, from shifting too much. But uh, I think, yeah, in general, just large numbers you really have to keep steady following that have a good mindset into every single hole and shake it off as soon as possible and then obviously you're one of the most popular players out here already <laughs> how do you handle the big crowds that you play in front of super lucky that um you know people like me out there <laughs> but i think that it does change a lot of um a lot of how I play just because, uh, you know, you have people just randomly shouting at you and randomly, you know, cheering you on. It's great and all, but it's definitely something that I've never been used to or been accustomed to since this is all very foreign and new to me. Week three as a pro. Um, but I think that I'm just really uh, lucky that they're out here and having a good time. I think that's how we grow the game and um, just women's golf. There's more people watching and it's incredible to see how many little kids, younger generations and even adults um, are out here, even though they don't know the sport as much, but they just want to come and support uh, every player out here. So I think it's really cool. Another question here. Hi, Rose. Hello. So you've said that despite going pro, you're going to continue to prioritize your education at Stanford. Yes. Why is that important to you? For sure. Um, first of all, I feel like this is an ambition on my own, um, from my own perspective and uh, from my own ambition. I think uh, just being at Stanford has enabled me to reach new heights, not just from my golf game, but as a person and um, through character development and meeting new people, uh, being surrounded by incredibly talented um, people in their own right has really inspired me to just push forward and become better on my own. Um, and 
I don't want that to end. I feel like the two years that I've had has been incredible, but there's so much more that I can learn. Um, therefore, it's not just the education that I'm looking for, but it's also just being in that environment and widening my horizons um, to push myself even further, not, on, not just on the golf course. And then yeah. one more. There's also a lot of Stanford alumni out there supporting you today. Yes. Your <laughs> coaches were spotted in the crowd and you're playing alongside five other Stanford Cardinals. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? It's really cool. I feel like the alumni, alumni um, I guess, circle and network at Stanford is something that you just can't uh, replace with anything else. Um, it's such a cool experience to be surrounded by people who, you know, we all have the same common, um, you know, education and background in college, and uh, we have our own, you know, team spirit and fighting um, for each other. So. Uh, I think that with everyone being together and even, you know, with different years and different age gaps, uh, we still have so much to talk about and so much commonality that I think it's really cool to see how big um, and amazing our alumni squad is. Hi, Rose. Uh, having two rounds under your belt, I just kind of wonder where your nerves are, especially with, with the big crowd, this being the U.S. Women's Open at Pebble Beach. Have you settled in? <laughs> Settled in a little bit. I um, feel like, you know, the game isn't exactly where I want it to be exactly, um, but you can't really have um, that many weeks where you're always on top of your game. So you have to really learn how to grind it out. And I think I'm slowly learning um, to do so. You know, once you're on tour, it's a lifestyle. It's not just, um, you know, playing tournament after tournament. Um, so I'm really just trying to uh, navigate myself in that area but it's really cool to just I don't feel as nervous as I would have thought <laughs> I would say um, if anything I feel a lot of love and support you're always so process driven uh, one shot at a time let me focus on this but you right. mentioned a word that I really haven't heard you say chasing you have to chase will that change your strategy at all I know the greens are really small but do you feel like you may have to take a few more chances tomorrow yeah no objectively speaking I mean this is still a sport this is still a tournament um, you're playing for you're playing to get better you're playing um, against people but of course for me I think I'm pretty realistic um, but I don't think about I don't think about chasing as much um, but you know in order to put myself in a position where I can play well the next two days and um, try to you know, up that leaderboard, um, you know, I have to change my game plan and um, be a little bit more aggressive, but at the same time, these are tiny greens. So just being in the center of the green is perfectly fine. Um, so everything's the same. Um, I'm just gonna try to figure out my game a little mo bit more, but two rounds under my belt, I feel a little more comfortable. Last question here. Hi, Rose, just uh, kind of kind of similar to that. Did did um, did the cut factor into how you approached the last few last few holes in there, or was it just kind of a steady approach always? Um, it's a pretty steady approach as always, but of course um, you do have to, you know, make sure that you're keeping the ball in play, and um, that's why I feel like in general I'm a bit more conservative, um, especially on this golf course at Pebble. Greens are tiny, fairways are narrow, and if you're in the rough it just doesn't give you any room for um, you know mistakes or errors so uh, I do have I think the next two days will be a little bit more of an aggressive approach but um, I'm gonna have to be able to hit those shots so uh, I think that's the first thing thank you so much thank you thank you for your time thank you